Welcome to Muslim Apologetics Australia. In this segment of the video, we're going to go into some details regarding Islam and apparently it has some barbaric teachings. I mean, you can go to any apologetic website whenever a discussion happens about Muslims and Islam and about the Quran and the argument starts with the basis of morality and Islam being this barbaric religion that imposes capital punishment. And they always discuss things like Saudi Arabia and the stoning of women and so forth. And they say that this is not acceptable in any progressive society and so forth. And that in the West, in the 21st century, in the age of enlightenment, we don't have these barbaric medieval um, 14th century teachings like stoning people and things like this. Well, I'm not going to go into the subject of stoning too much because I want to do justice to a video that was produced by muhaddif.org. And in this particular video, it goes into great detail about the response of the stoning of men or women who commit the crime of adultery. However, in this video, what I would like to highlight is the hypocrisy and the double standards of the West. So if you want to see a video response on that subject, I'll put a hyperlink below this video and you can see a clear refutation showing that the teaching is really to protect the safety and security of human civilization and family circles. That is the whole purpose. And watch the video and you'll see whether Islam is really barbaric when it comes to stoning the adulteresses. Like I said in this video, we'll expose the double standards and the hypocrisy of the Western secularists who make such claims such as it is barbaric in the method of punishment, but we will now show you the double standards. If you actually watch the video, you can't actually put a punishment towards a woman or a man committing adultery. It's very hard to prove the case. You need four different witnesses to prove that case and so forth. It, is, it has to go through jurisdiction in front of a judge and jury and so forth. So it is very hard to prove it unless you actually make your own testimony and bear witness against yourself, then you can't actually really prove it. Uh, but of course, harsh measures are put there to actually end uh, these sorts of things happening in society. And really, you know, the accusers and the critics who actually make an argument against it, they don't like to put themselves in the shoes of the victim right? Uh, you know, if something, God forbid, happens to, you know, their wife, you know, it's, it's, a, it's between him and his wife and so forth, and a conflict happens, and then she gets caught cheating or whatever, then he wants to put such punishments upon her. But when it's someone else's wife, oh, <laughs> you know, he uses a double standard approach, oh, it's someone else's wife, oh, yeah, it's just barbaric to, you know, put a punishment against that type of person but here we go there's a person here in the comment whose name is joe willer he says that islam is pretty filthy it's it's like an animalistic religion basically it you know stones people and i said to him i said to joe i wonder how you would feel if you were married to a lovely wife who had a beautiful family and you had kids and you found me in bed screwing your wife which led to the destruction of your home, caused separation, tore your warm home apart. I wonder how you would, what you would want done of me. I bet you'd want me executed, wouldn't you? But there are some, I agree, who don't mind their wives being screwed. They actually get off on it thanks to the morality of secular animal-like porn industry. So, you know, you get double standards here when it comes to the punishment and, you know, capital punishment isn't something that is just relative to Islam. You know, when they wanted to hang Saddam Hussein, 
the West gave Saddam Hussein to Iraq, didn't they? And they wanted Saddam Hussein to be hanged. Saddam Hussein was choked by a rope. He was in pain. He was dangling with his legs and he was just sitting there waiting for his death, being choked by a rope. Did any of the Western nations condemn this? Did any humanitarian group get up and condemn this and say this is barbaric? We should stop this. We should make a petition to stop this. You know, Westerners say, oh, you know, we're against hanging people. Well, why didn't they stop uh, Saddam from being hanged? They happily gave Saddam to the Iraqi people where he got choked to death, right? So what happened to Islam and being medieval, it does capital punishment, it does these gruesome executions, when these people were celebrating and dancing in the street for the hanging of Saddam Hussein. So notice when they hang people or when they want people hanged, it becomes a 21st century progressive system. But if Muslims kill people and criminals by executions and so forth, it then suddenly becomes barbaric, medieval. Look at these people primitive in the Dark Ages. You know, and when they say, oh, Islam is barbaric because it stones the criminals and so forth. But then again, look at the double standards here. People still get stoned today, even in the modern world, even in the Western world. They just get hit by smaller stones called bullets, thanks to a firing squad. How do you think Bin Laden got a rock to the head? <laughs> right? He got a mighty metal bullet to the head, which is the modern day rock, isn't it? So what's really changed? You've actually changed the material of the rock into something which is iron, metal. And you instead spray that to perpetrators and criminals and so forth. So that is the modern day stone. And you want to talk about Islam is in the dark ages. Islam is in the 14th century. It practices barbaric laws. When you've taken that law, modified it, manipulated it and presented it as something modern. But when you come to the crux of it, they're both similarly the same <laughs> one is a hard rock the other is a hard piece of metal now i know what some anti-islam critic is going to say he's going to say oh they're not the same because you know when you get pelted by a rock it, it takes longer for you to die yeah right and when you get pelted by bullets it takes a shorter time does it so when a police officer is running down and shooting you down, you know, any any he miss, he hits you in the arm, hits you in the chest. Usually the bullet's hitting you in the chest. Oh, it 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 takes a very slow time, does it? It doesn't torture you at all. It's interesting because even in the Western world, when people are you know sent to death row and so forth, or put in front of a shooting squad and so forth, and they get shot, some of the victim's parents actually say, oh, well, he shouldn't really get shot, right? He shouldn't really get shot. You know, a quick kill, a quick kill in the head would just, you know, it's just too easy for him. I mean, I want him to rot in prison for the rest of his life. So you can't really win with that argument. So yes, in our modern time, we still have electrocution people on death row, blow their eyeballs out of their eye sockets. Almost all in the West celebrate the hanging of Saddam Hussein, strangled by a rope. But hey, Islam is medi medieval and barbaric. Yes, it is. You know, interesting, you know, when those drone planes, they fly in Syria and Iraq, you know, when they send those bombs and missiles down, you know, they have this fancy idea in their mind that when that, rocket falls and hits a building they think oh all the people and all the residents inside just simply vanish and die i mean this is their imagination right 
reality is most of these people have, are still alive and a lot of them have got their limbs amputated, right? And they're just lying there, <laughs> right? And they want to talk about how Westerners and how 21st century modern civilization knows how to execute people humanely. You stupid people. So don't be fooled, people. Don't be fooled when they say we're in the 21st century and we're civilized and we're not like the people of the Dark Ages. These people are worse than the people of the Dark Ages, right? They've just become a bit more sophisticated in the weaponry that they use. But when you melt it down, you'll see that it's really not that very different at all. It may perceive to be different, but when you break it down, it's not very different at all. Don't forget, the West has got so many sophisticated weaponry that they can bomb and burn alive down villages, literally burn people with bombs. These cluster bombs, they literally fry people, okay, while, while they're just gargling white phosphorus foam in their mouth, right? So th these are the Western weaponry, made Western weaponry. So don't be fooled when these people want to talk about, oh, they're sophisticated and they're, you know, modern and they're civilized and they're people of humanitarian. They're the ones who have created all of these evil bombs, okay, and evil missiles that have destroyed and deployed uranium and poisoned crops for many, many people like we, we see in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where people, since the atomic bomb, are still feeling the suffering and the pain and the agonies of, of those toxic bombs. So don't you let them lecture you on what humanitarian is. Okay, These people do not know humanitarianism.